Annual Review, 2018 Operating Budget. Christy, or Christine. <laughs> or Chris. Or Chris. Or Mrs. Okay. Pulliam. Okay, so. Or Finance Director. Yeah. <laughs> First <Sorry>. in charge. <laughs> it's very late. Well, whatever. That's it. Thank you. That's yes. Over what I am passing out to you. Thank guys. you very much. Basically, this is just summarizing all of the changes that you guys Thank have you. made so far, with a few changes that I have made for us to go over. And then once we do that, I feel you guys can lead the way on what your thoughts are in regards to the discussions you had last week and then previous weeks. So the first um, adjustment on here is just a typographical error in the regular wages under the town manager's office for the administrative assistant. It should have been in at 61,000 in the original budget and it was put in at 60. So that's the $990 there. That was just an error that I hadn't caught in the past. Social Security, Medicare, and New Hampshire retirement system. Those are all under the personnel administration. Whenever any changes are made to any wage lines, throughout the budget process, these lines will always change. So that's what that is. You guys had, when we get down further, you'll see that the, be reminded that the public works director had offered up some cuts in his budget. And um, some of them, at least one, but two were in lines that affected wages, along with the correction that I just told you about in the town manager section. Those, that's where there's changes there. Gasoline and diesel, as we talked about all along the way across the budget, I've been monitoring those at the end of every month. So as of the end of September, yes, at the end of September, I had all of the gasoline gallons and did averages of where we were at. So I adjusted any lines that were needed to appropriately be adjusted based on the gallons used so far this year and projecting out. So any gasoline or diesel changes that you see on that sheet are literally just related to the fact that we said that we would continue to monitor those lines and make adjustments throughout the budget process. So we'll, hopefully we'll be given the ability to do that at the budget committee also. Um, health insurance, we talked about that last week. The rates came in at 10.5% uh, below what they were this year and obviously below what I projected because I never I don't usually tend to project a negative number on that because it's very rare that it happens. So that health insurance line has been adjusted by 341000 as a result of the rates coming in lower than expected. Then you'll get into some just one line different items that the Public Works Department had offered up, the federal stormwater requirements. He had said that they had had the actual cost on that now, and so there was 10000 savings there. Heating fuel, vehicle maintenance, waste tipping fees, and waste hauling. Those are all, um, when Chris was here before the board, he had offered those up. I think there were some motions to approve those cuts. So once again, this is just kind of, and then health insurance in the library. So this is just kind of where we started when the budget came to you. Adjustments that you guys have made along the way, plus a few that I have made hopefully on your behalf, if you want to approve them or not approve them, we can discuss that. Um, and then you guys had had a couple discussions last week on different wage lines and stuff, and I'm not sure where we're going with that, but I just kind of wanted to give you an idea of where we were at. So now we're at 3.25% uh, above the 17 budget. So, and I think we started at, I think Fred and I started at like six point something, and I think you guys started at 4.85, if I remember correctly. There's been so many versions, I tend to forget, but we keep shaving, so that's a good thing, in my opinion. <coughs> so I'll turn it over to you guys to lead it wherever you'd like it to go. Questions, first of all? Uh, no, excellent job. Um, I, have, I would like to make a motion to uh, make these changes if it's okay with everyone else. Yeah, let's see if anybody has things to say. No, I think it's. I think this is good. I know we've got a couple of items we have to yeah. talk about, but this is a good start. And it yeah. was. Thank you for. Okay. Yeah. The uh, three hundred and forty-one thousand. That's great. Yes. But we have to 
next year we have no idea. I mean, that that's we not no idea. that's I not mean, like when we can say, "Wow, that's really cool," and it's going to continue. For a while, you know, they, don't they, they don't go down. They don't go down. We I've only known once in the past. I have only known once that I can. Yeah. Twenty-five yeah. years that it's actually gone down. It's always yeah. gone up. I mean, so that, down. that's a great benefit for this 10%? year. Ten percent. Yes. Ten percent. Ten and a half. Yeah. For those retirees out there, that'll be a nice little. It will. And Medicom put down for the first time since I've worked here, and I started here in 1998. I've never seen the Medicom go down, which is what anyone who's on the Medicare is on. It actually it didn't go down drastically, but it went down a little. Nice. So, so, so that 3.25. Do you know what that would do to the tax rate? What the increase? Or, if you're not prepared, don't don't. We were at 0.391. I should have looked that up. Sorry. Um, you guys want to talk about some other things? Let me see if I can roll that in here real quick. All right, what were the things we needed to... Do you want to vote on this? Uh, oh, we motion. can vote on this. Yes, she said that. Uh, in a motion, I second. Okay, let's get that All in favor? Opposed? All right, unanimous. This 